Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to BSV TV. I'm your host, Sir Toshi, and on this show, we'll be defending the one and only truly genuine Bitcoin. The Bitcoin that Satoshi Nakamoto designed in his white paper as a peer to peer electronic cash system for the world. Let's get the disclaimers out of the way. So all the statements that you hear on this show are opinion and must only ever be taken as opinion. They are never to be taken as any form of advice, family, financial, sexual or otherwise. And on that note, let's sit back, relax, have some fun and enjoy the show. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and set your own fee on Streamanity. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I wasn't asked why I'm convinced. Craig is Satoshi. Um, I posted on, on Reddit, he signed in my presence uh, the private, using the private key from block one, block number one, the very first mined Bitcoin block uh, on a computer that I'm convinced had not been tampered with, on software I'm convinced that had not been tampered with, a message of my choosing. At Enchain, we've just funded a number of universities doing, so far, a test up to one gigabyte because it validates what we've already done independently. We've tested up to 380 gigabyte blocks. We have tested 1 million transactions a second and transaction sizes up to 20 megabytes. Super complex scripts, basically ones that can run operating systems. That's basically all of global commerce times about 50. On top of that, we can have complex scripts. On top of that, we can scale each of those transactions 1,000 times, which effectively means about a billion transactions per second, which means we can then have all derivatives, all complex trades. That means high frequency trading. It means everything that happens globally. Is the market that effectively BSV is going for, is that global e-commerce, which is currently valued at $29 trillion? No, that's too small. Buy and sell Bitcoin instantly at bsvgravity.com. And you can now book and pay for your winter holiday at skibsv.com. Alrighty, people. It looks like we are live at five and rocking and rolling. Just checking the statistics to make sure everyone can hear me. Yeah, audio's good, desktop is good. Looking good, looking good. So yeah, few things to uh, discuss today. And I don't mind admitting, yeah, I am a little bit pissed off about Vaynerchuk, to be honest with you. You know, why shouldn't I be? I've got a few issues with it, so just get it off my chest and move on. But I mean, uh, what a... <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. But uh, anyway, before we get into that, let's just have a quick rundown of the system. Check the figures, the crypto weather forecast, the health of the system. Uh, here we go. So we... Um, let's have a quick look at the markets. Point is, it's an absolute shitcoin, like a total shitcoin, and this guy is actually a professor, like a genuine, a genuine professor. And he's just like, oh yeah, so what we've done is I've created this token, and whereas uh, um, Ethereum is having trouble scaling, uh, we're scaling it, and it can have uh, far more nodes on the network, and uh, you know people can stake it. And I was just like, oh my god, like he's he's literally come up with another staking network. Like, how can you be a professor, you're of in, you're, uh, a professional institution, an academic institution, and not understand that, that anything that you call a currency is staking is centralized? There is no competition in the system. Without competition in the system, it is not decentralized. It's distributed, you know, it's given to lots of different people, but if there's no competition dividing those people from each other, they are just simply centralized. There is no way America or China will ever agree to use a proof of stake system as a currency. Because America will just be like, oh, right, well, we'll just uh, create this currency and we'll, we'll stake it. And then uh, China will be like, well, actually, we'll, uh, we'll create our currency and uh, we'll stake that. And then you're back to square one with two staking protocols refusing to use one another. This is the whole point about uh, decentralization. And and again, oh, well, actually, this uh, leads me on nicely to this uh, next topic that I wanted to talk about, actually. Uh, so this was, and I'll tell you how it uh, relates in just a minute. This is a, a really great article from um, uh, Symphonaut Brads, who... Uh, has been working on uh, BSV. So I just want to read this because um, this is a 
Oh yeah, a, a really good piece. And Shadows here have said, uh, there are three of the most important articles in the history of Bitcoin. Two are about the past and one is about the future. One, Mike Hearn, the resolution of Bitcoin experiment. Uh, two, Unwriter, the resolution of Bitcoin cash experiment. And now this. And so obviously, you know, Steve is the, uh, the the chief technical officer um, at Enchain, and he's saying, look, you know, here are the uh, three most important articles in the history of Bitcoin. Actually, and I know I'm blowing my own trumpet here, but fundamentally, the most important article ever <laughs> was the one I wrote about the paradox of the centralized starting point. It is absolutely fundamental that one concept. The paradox of the centralized starting point is the key to absolutely everything, like literally absolutely everything. And you cannot just simply, you know, say, oh, there's a paradox here. I'm going to solve it. No, the, the solving this paradox has been 10 years in the making, 10 years in the making, because solving this paradox cannot simply be created in one time. It is neutralizing the network, like letting the network grow. It's the, it's the size of the network, it's the size of the, or the growth of the neutral network that neither America or China or any other network can replicate overnight. And that's what solves the issue of this centralized starting point. Because the centralized starting point of crypto was man-made. So therefore, whoever made it has the authority and control, which means that it has to be diluted over time. And it can't be diluted over time if the person who created it has a continual, uh, you know, um, controlling influence and authority over it. He literally just had to let it go. And that's what none of these, uh, none of these people uh, understand. And so if you're speaking to a, a group of newbies who want to know, look, is my investment safe? It's the paradox that they have to understand. Like it is the neutral growth. And this is again why, I mean, everything has been superbly planned. Bitcoin paper released on 31st of October. Network started on January 3rd, 2009. Tulip just become available on the 1st of January, 2020. That's your 10 year period. He, Craig has planned this from the get go. Like it is literally his baby. It is his life's work. And what a piece of work it is. I mean, oh my goodness me. Like absolutely amazing. So you want to go into that room and say to these people, look, you know, if they're saying, look, we are, why is my investment safe? What differentiates my product from all these other these? They say they can do 6,000 transactions a second before um, before fees start going up. They say they can do 10,000 transactions a second. Uh, you know, they say that, oh, they've built this new system, that blah, all this crap. Like nothing, nothing gives it value like the neutral growth that none of these other networks can touch. And again, this is why, just going back to this uh, this lovely uh, picture that I produced just a second ago, is, is pretty much all you need to look at. So Gary, if you're watching, get a load of this, Sonny Jim. Uh, here we go. Bow, bow, bow. Coming up in just a second. It's a uh, thread on this. There we go. Check it out. How simple is that to view? Here is your, uh, I mean, again, yeah, we didn't, we, we need like another one on there. We need like Bitcoin white paper released 31st of October. Genesis block, 3rd of January, 2009. Yeah, it continues like, you know, and again, Satoshi Nakamoto has stepped away from the project. No one really knows who he is. He's given himself a Japanese pseudonym, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and then suddenly it gets to um, uh, October 1st, 2017. And Blockstream are just like, right, we're not scaling it. And if you're scaling it, it just means that there's no new market for miners to go after, which means they just simply have to take market off markets share off each other, which which centralizes the network. Yeah, and then they've added SegWit, which breaks the chain of signatures, which basically gives Blockstream complete control of the network. And when they have complete control of the network, they say who can and who can't build on it. And when they're saying, right, nobody's building on this shit, it means that there's no useful applications being built for people to use. That is it. But then they're like, oh, yeah, don't use it. You see, it's the store of value. Not many use it. Like, absolute bollocks. If you were given money by the central bank and they were saying, look, we don't want anybody to use this currency, you know, because it uh, threatens the monopoly that we've got on the, uh, you know, on the uh, the world reserve currency. Uh, you know, we, uh, we uh, you know, we don't necessarily want to uh, 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 tell people to you know, stop using it. We want them to encourage them not to use it. So, uh, you know, uh, what we'll say is store of value, not meant to use it. You know, so don't 
Don't not use it. Like, you're not meant to use it. Stop spamming the network. Don't use it. You know, just let the odd, really important transaction go through. Absolute bollocks. And then there's the other one as well. It's like, oh, well, you know, it's censorship-resistant money. That's why you're not meant to use it. As well as being a store of value. So that are two things why you're not meant to use it. You're not meant to use it. You're you're not meant to. You know, that's the whole idea. Like, it's really valuable, but you're just not meant to use it. Like, what a load of shit. I honestly, I can't believe that uh, Gary V fell for that. I mean, it's just so ridiculous. And then you've got B-Crash, you know, and then they're just like, oh, right, well, uh, actually, we want to make this uh, available for criminals so that they can't get caught so that everybody can smoke crack in their own homes. Right, well, if you want to make it anonymous, that means there is nobody holding the users of the network to account. And if there is nobody holding the user of the network to account, there is no one holding the creator to account, which means it is now centralized by the creator of the network. So it's another centralized system, which is worth absolutely jack shit. Like, literally... That's what, this is what it comes down to. So that guy, Emin, you know, was going, oh, we've got a proof of stake. Well, it's centralized. There's no competition in the system. You know, you need accountability in the system. You need infinite scale. You need a locked protocol. You need a fixed supply. You need competition. You know, all these things. You know, and it's, it's really not hard. Gary, if you're listening, just give me a shout. I'll explain it to you real simple, as if you were like five years old. In 2019, that uh, regulated industrial scale Bitcoin mining can pull in annually estimated $8.5 billion. That's not to be sniffed at, is it? My goodness, my goodness. Wow, what a, uh, what a show, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So on that note, it is time to ding-a-dong. Let's do this. Put your hand cash handles and pay mails in the chat box. Registered. Excellent, there we go. Good job, it's a micropayment and not a million dollars. <laughs> Excellent, there we go, peeps. Right, thank you for tuning in. Oh, crack I've even gone well over the hour. One hour, like seven minutes. Uh, I had a lot to go over today, actually. I think we covered quite a lot, you know. Never a dull moment in crypto, my goodness. Right, on that note, thank you for tuning in. Same time tomorrow, and as ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there. Joy given. Catch you later. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Get paid for your content in Bitcoin and watch the full episode on Streamanity, free for 15 hours. Go to www.sertoshi.tv. See the link in the description below.